Hey YouTube, Tangymana09. Gonna be doing a quick tutorial here for the uh, 757 SMC. So I'm at San Francisco and I'm going to John Wayne. So let's get started. Um, this should come. It comes kind of halfway set up. The 757 from Captain Sim. Just make sure you get your overhead panel set up. Uh, but I'm going to be mostly focusing on the SMC. So after you have your IRS, I'll do a more realistic in the tutorial. They're going to start out like that on the off position, and your plane should look like this. It should say ATT. Uh, you're going to switch these to a line. Switch all three of them to a line, and then they're going to show up as a line at the top there. So you are gonna go into your SMC. Usually I use my SMC in the aircraft special cockpit, but for the video's sake, I'm gonna use this one. So go to first, um, go to initialization, ref, INT ref, um, click on position, enter the airport identifier code that you're at. So I'm at San Francisco, so you start with the uh, country's identifier, the whatever, the, so, the U.S. is K, most of it, except for Alaska and Hawaii, set out with a K, so then you enter your airport, or whatever country you're in, you should know that, so, you're gonna have, after you enter your airport ref into this spot, this will pop up, you'll get your latitude and longitude, click on it, right here, it's gonna pull up in the bottom box, click it in here, that enters your IRS position. So you go back to your overhead panel and that should allow you to click these over to nav. Whenever these lights go out on the overhead panel, when the aligned lights go out, you can switch it over to nav. So after they're set, you should get your panels looking like this, your map display working, your horizontal or your artificial horizon working, and your engine instrument should there already before that but uh go next you go to route so by takeoff airport sfo to san santa Ana. god wait i need a ksna excuse me come back from uh, san diego so i was thinking san diego um runway i'm at san, er, I'm at san francisco so 2 8 left or runway 1, but my FSI told me if I had 2 8 left for takeoff. So I use that. And flight number, if you know it, uh, I forget what my flight number is. I'll look it up later. It's not really mandatory, it's just something you can add for realism. Next, go back to an uh, IMT ref. You're going to have to enter your weight. So you can either use the default FSX weight thing where you go into the aircraft fuel and payload, and it'll say gross weight, that's what the DRWT is, and it measures in hundreds of thousands of pounds, so my gross weight is uh, 209,000, and your gross weight is pretty much the total of your, uh, 209,800, it's the total of your, oh, you do 209.8. So, at the 209.8, uh, that should automatically set your ZFW and your fuel. Your gross weight is the ZFW, payload, aircraft empty weight, added all together with your fuel and everything. And it gives you that. So you can either enter your Z gross weight or your ZFW. Either way, you'll get both of them once you enter one of them. So you just enter it in, and it'll automatically fill in the bottom or the top, whatever one you put in. Reserves, uh, that's just what you're what you want, like, left, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I just put it at, it depends on the plane, this plane, I'll just put it at, like, 6, 8, varies, though, between planes, I don't actually know what the real number is, someone wants to comment and tell me, cost index, but, uh, you can put it, the higher your cost index, the higher your altitude restraint will be, so I already have like a really low gross weight because I will I only have thirty percent of my fuel, which is two hundred or twenty two thousand pounds. So this flight's going up to forty one thousand today. So you're cruising altitude, 
enter it in thousands of feet, you just it's pretty simple, straightforward. On cost index, uh, 30 is good for realistic. I think you can go up to like 500, and that the higher you go, usually the higher the altitude will be able to go. Uh, the higher the VF reference will be able to go. So if you put it at 500, you could probably go up to like 43,000, but it's not going to be the most efficient for your plane. Uh, so next, go to takeoff. Flap 15 to the 7.5. Thrust to, you don't have to enter that. Uh, CG, it tells you in a different menu. I don't really take the time to look at it because I always set my CG to like, I, I, I always just set my trim to about here. You can go in and change it. I actually don't remember how. I think it's like, I think it's in your initial rest stage. Um, D speed. You can go ahead and confirm them if you want, but when you enter your departure, it's just going to delete them. So, I, my departure today is, so you go to your departure, go to departure, uh, for the airport. First, click on the runway you're going to be using, so I'm using 28 left. You're going to have your SID. Um, you using the port 5, I think. Port 3, well, in real life it's port 5, I, I need to update my ARACs. Put 5 and then your transition, SLW is my transition, go back to route, hit next, shows you your, so that's your first waypoint. Uh, the next waypoint, I don't actually have any more waypoints, because my next waypoint is my approach. So for John Wayne, you go to departure, index again, so you put back to index, approach, and then you can select your approach. So I'm doing the uh, 33. So, 33 FLW is my transition for my departure and my approach, that's kind of funny. Uh, IOS 19 right is usually used, and then transition for down here. Uh, you can enter one, you don't need to. I'll just enter one, just for example, straight. And that should give it to you, that should give you your route. So it should, I don't know, this plane you, your V speed, okay, so your V speed stay in this plane if you enter your departure. They'll stay the same. So you get, for your departure, you enter all that, you enter your waypoint. If you have any, uh, airways, airways can be entered by, you enter the airway here, so it's either going to be V, J, whatever letter it is, uh, and then the number, and then you enter it there, and then you enter where it goes to. So say I love like J40 or something, if that's my airway, you click J40 and you enter it here and then you'd enter the waypoint that you're going to. So if you were doing like J40 going like FLW, that's not a real waypoint. I'm just using an example. You'd put J40 here, FLW here, and then it would enter all the all the waypoints in between. But that's not real, I'm just showing you for example. So you go into your legs, it'll show you all your legs. And if you entered in your you had entered in your perth correctly, your legs should give you your VM um, altitude and airspeed for each leg. So it's gonna give me that. So at SLW I should be up at my cruising altitude. I'll be cruising all the way until Palm after Palm will start my descent. Or uh well sometimes Captain Sim 75 doesn't give you a top of descent, so hopefully it gives you a top of descent, but usually you should see your top of descent somewhere in here, in between your cruising altitude and your first waypoint that's lower than your cruising altitude, it'll give you a top of descent. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. VNAV, you can sh it'll show you your cruising altitude, click next, and it'll show you your optimum, which is what it recommends, your maximum, what is the max you can fly at, and yeah, so next you go over to, well that's pretty much it, I mean, uh, there's a couple more things, like nav, this is your ILS frequency for your approach, so 111.75 and 194 is your course, but that's pretty much it for your, what you need to enter, the other stuff you can just look at, look through, you can kind of screw out of it. I wouldn't screw out with too much if you're flying, but, um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, I can usually set up my FMC depending on the flight plan in like two or three minutes. It's pretty straightforward. And then after you enter all your FMC information, you go over to your aircraft, enter your MCT altitude, and make sure your flight director is on for takeoff and the flight. Yeah, won't have it on yet, but make sure that's on auto throttle. That needs to be on, and you'll click your uh, B dev, uh, B dev and L dev, autopilot, and uh, should take you on the course. Just highlighted here. You can uh, extend the map a little bit. As you can see, I'll be taking off and out to the south. So that's just a quick tutorial. Uh, I hope it helped. If not, if you want me to explain more in depth, leave a comment below. Uh, so, thanks for watching and subscribe.